And that's it. I'll take it. <laughs> totally, yeah. Um, I can't put it into words yet, but different. Sounded different. Don't know how to explain it. Felt, it felt very different. Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Andy Carter and today's video is all about Titleist. The brand new TSR Metal Woods are coming out. I'm, I'm excited. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while or you've been following my kind of what's in the bags over the years, you will know that I'm a little bit of a Titleist fan. I'm not endorsed by them, I don't get paid by them. I think pretty much since the age of around about 18, I have played nearly every single Titleist driver and MV irons up until now where I'm in the T100s. I'm not going to try and come at this video too biased. I wanted to tell you exactly what the driver does and in the next couple of videos I want you to watch where I compare the TSR to the TSI. I have been for a fitting already at the Titleist Fitting Centre in Woburn in the south of England and the results were very very interesting. Not absolutely not what I expected at all. Some in a good way and some in a bad way. But let's see exactly what this TSR has to offer. There's nothing better. It's like Christmas, isn't it? Opening up a brand new box. In here, boom, in here, I have got the TSR driver and the brand new three wood. Every Titleist driver just looks so classic. It looks absolutely beautiful. They've just gone, it's just so simple but effective. And But this, they're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. And what you'll notice, I'm actually in the TSR2. Now, in the past, I've always been around the, the three. So I've always been looking for the kind of slightly deeper face and kind of smaller profiled head. And that's ex exactly what I expected to get out of the fitting. I actually almost expected to expect to come away from the fitting with a TSR4, which was an even smaller head and a more compact head. And that's it. No. I'll take it. <laughs> totally, yeah. We, um, I can't put it into words yet, but different. Sounded different. I don't know how to explain it. Felt, it felt very different. 168.8 ball speed, launched at 12, 2100 spin. I see where you struck it. Just north of the middle, so okay, that's fine. In terms of, might be a slight drop off in spin there. Yeah. But it flew 291 for 316. And what were we with your so uh, is that two eight ball speed on average one six nine. Yeah. So again, one hit, very similar. Yeah. The spin was fluctuating a little bit. We had some up there at three thousand on a middle strike, but then sort of tail high in the face dropped down to two thousand. Through the air two eight seven for three oh seven total. So wow. is there anything based on those numbers that you think okay we can I expect to improve that area or is there any, is it just kind of trial and error at the moment just to Yeah, no, so so for me um, I would like to improve the spin rates. Yeah. Um, ideally, keep them maybe certainly more constant. Yeah. And probably constantly around that 25, 2600, something okay. around that. That's yeah. that's that's what's jumping out to me at the moment. Yeah. Rather than getting the ones that jump up at three and then down here at two. Yeah. I'm like, can I make that uh, more consistent for you? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, so Titleist are marketing the TSR that it's going to be faster, longer, and straighter. Now, that is a huge statement because at the end of the day, every manufacturer says the same thing. No manufacturer is going to come out and say, this is a bit slower, it might not go as far, but you'll be all right. You might hit some straight shots. Now, this is a decent little start as well because it came first and second in the open with Cameron Smith and Cameron Young. Now there's been three key changes in the TSR2 in particular. That's the one that I've got. So it's improved this aerodynamics. It's taken out the slot that used to be at the bottom of the TSI2 because they were saying that was grabbing too much air. So they've they've basically made all that flat. They've made as much of the outer shell as flat as possible to improve the aerodynamics, which I suppose is going to give you a faster club head speed, which could also help you get faster ball speed. 
One of the other changes that they've made, and I think this is quite a big one, they've brought in the multi-plateau VFT design. Now, again, I'm always I was like, what on earth is that? It's basically giving you more forgiveness off the face, more forgiveness than what the TSI 3 gave me, and more forgiveness than what the TSR 3 will also give. The TSR3 basically has like a, a smaller sweet spot for added speed and I was noticing that I was getting more speed from the TSR3 and I got it from the TSI3 than what I got from the TSR2. However, because the face on the TSR2 is a little bit more forgiving, it almost kind of said, well, take back a little bit of that club head, that ball speed, and let me give you more straightness in your off center hits. And that's one of the things that I noticed. I obviously went into the fitting asking for more distance. Give me more ball speed, give me more distance. And yeah, get me straighter, get me faster, longer, straighter, everything you promised. I feel like they probably managed to give me straighter, but not longer and faster. But I could have gone longer and faster with a TSR3, but I wouldn't have gone straighter. And that's the key thing. It was trying to find the correct balance and the best balance. And the final change is the optimized speed and stability. So it basically brought the center of gravity lower and more forward to increase ball speed and improve launch and spin. Again, we've got to try and make sure we get the right sort of face dynamic to allow for that to happen but as it actually looks it looks really super it looks super sleek it looks nice and like you say if if, if all of these things come together and you get more speed more distance and straighter shots every golfer is going to be happy it strikes like that why we pay the big bucks for extra forgiveness. One of the interesting factors now is that the same with the off center hits, you're not gonna to lose too much distance. There's gonna be an improved ball speed and improved forgiveness. And I've gotta say, it's hard to really argue because that is one right out of the neck, bang in line, excuse the sheep, with one that I hit pretty decent to out of the center, maybe a bit of a push, just down that right side there. So there's probably, five to seven yards tops in terms of the the distance and that's what i want from a driver forgiveness if you are looking to buy one of these or get fitted for one of these in the future 23rd of september is your magical date to go down to your nearest titleist fitting center or your nearest golf store that has them in stock try it out test it for yourself at the end of the day i can stand here and say this is great this is rubbish but well, what I really think of a golf club is not going to massively influence what you think of the golf club. What might be right for me won't be right for you. You might prefer any other brand on the planet. You might love Titleist, you might hate Titleist, but you know what? You won't know until you go and get fitted. So 23rd of September, that is your date. Go for it. Guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video as ever please do hit that subscribe button. I hope you've enjoyed every, all the information that I've been able to give you from this. I personally will be moving to the TSR2, purely based on the fact that my off-center hits are better and straighter, and that is all I want in life, just to make the golf ball go straight.